हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फूड टेक नेटवर्क द टॉपिक फॉर टू डेज डिस्कशन इज हर्डल टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी कवरिंग द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स दैट आर फर्स्ट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन टू हर्डल टेक्नोलॉजी देन द नीड फॉर हर्डल टेक्नोलॉजी देन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ हर्डल टेक्नोलॉजी देन पोटेंशियल हर्डल्स इन फूड प्रिजर्वेशन then the advantages and significance of those hurdles in food preservation and at last the conclusion so let us start with the introduction part so hurdle technology is the combined use of several preservation methods to make a product shelf stable and to improve quality and to improve additional safety it is also known as combined method technology and hurdle technology is also a method that ensures that pathogens in food products can be eliminated or controlled like this means that the food product will be safe for consumption and their shelf life will be extended now let us come to the topic that why we need hurdle technology so nowadays consumers are demanding for fresh natural minimally processed food products and also there is the ongoing trend that is increasing day by day that is of eating uh, food outside and to uh, consume ready to eat foods so all of these ready to eat foods and processed foods might have contamination and also there is a new ecology routes for microbial growth have emerged so that's why we do need hurdle technology so next topic so that is principles of hurdle technology so first principle of hurdle technology is preventive factors or hurdles disturb the homeostasis of microbes then microbes should not be able to jump over all the hurdles present in the food product then preventive or preservative factors prevent microorganisms from multiplying and causing them to remain inactive or even die next and last principle that is the hurdle concepts illustrates that complex interaction of temperature water activity ph etc are significant to the microbial stability now next topic is potential hurdles in uh, food preservation so the first uh, hurdle is high temperature the next hurdle is low temperature next is reduced water activity then increased acidity reduced redox potential biopreservatives and other preservatives so let us see these hurdles in detail so first is high temperature so the first point of high temperature includes pasteurization so it is a mild heat treatment and it destroys vegetative pathogens and reduces total microbial load and increases increases shelf life and it does not destroy spores also and it is generally combined with other hurdles that are like refrigeration so next point of high temperature is sterilization so sterilization completely disrupts the microorganism and it is a severe heat treatment it is like equivalent to several minutes at 121.1 degree celsius sterilization generally destroys spores and it gives shelf stable products some nutrients quality destruction is there like flavor and texture get disrupted next high temperature hurdle is blanching so it is a kind of pasteurization generally applied to fruits and vegetable and it is generally applied to inactivate the natural uh, enzymes commonly it is practiced when food is to be frozen and depending on its severity also it uh, destroys microorganisms and the next potential hurdle in food preservation is low temperature so the first point that is included in low temperature hurdle is refrigeration so the refrigeration temperature ideally is 0 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius for most of the foods and it is a short term preservation methods like days to week we can preserve any food in a refrigerator refrigeration generally slows down the uh, microbial growth the respiration the enzyme and the chemical reactions so like some pathogens can grow uh, even in the refrigerator like uh, clostridium botulinum next point that is being included in low temperature hurdle is freezing so the freezing temperature is generally 18 degree celsius to minus 30 degree celsius so the long, it is a long term preservation method uh, like for months or years and it stops microbial growth respiration and it slows down the chemical reactions but uh, uh, during freezing the product must have good packaging next hurdle the potential hurdle in food preservation is reduced water activity 
सो वॉटर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ एंजाइम एंड केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड पैथोजेनिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम कैन नॉट ग्रो एट वॉटर एक्टिविटी लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स एंड ईस्ट एंड मोल्स कैन नॉट ग्रो एट वॉटर एक्टिविटी लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू सो फ्री वॉटर कैन बी रिमूव बाय कंसनट्रेशन डी हाइड्रेशन और फ्रीज ड्राइंग मैथड सो इन जनरल द लोअर द वॉटर एक्टिविटी इज द लॉन्गर द शेल्फ लाइफ विल बी एंड देर आर सम रिकमेंडेड सब्सटेंसेज टू रिड्यूज वॉटर एक्टिविटी दैट आर ग्लूकोज फ्रक्टोज स्यूक्रोज सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड पोटेशियम क्लोराइड नेक्स्ट पोटेंशियल हर्डल इन फूड प्रिजर्वेशन इज इंक्रीज एसिडिटी सो एसिडिटी स्लोज डाउन द ग्रोथ ऑफ स्पॉयलेज ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड पैथोजेंस सो पैथोजेंस वॉन्ट ग्रो स्पोर्ट्स वॉन्ट जर्मिनेटेड पी एच मोर देन फोर पॉइंट फाइव एंड अबाउ पी एच फोर पॉइंट फाइव द प्रोडक्ट मस्ट बी स्टेलाइज फॉर शेल्फ स्टेबिलिटी एंड बिलो पी एच फोर पॉइंट फाइव द प्रोडक्ट कैन बी पॉइराइज नेक्स्ट पोटेंशियल हर्डल इन फूड प्रिजर्वेशन इज कंट्रोलिंग ऑक्सीजन सो ऑक्सीजन प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन ग्रोथ ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम सो लो ऑक्सीजन इनहिबिट्स ग्रोथ ऑफ मेनी स्पॉयलेज ऑर्गेनिजम बट एनआरबिक कंडीशन रिक्वायर्ड बाय सम पैथोजेंस नेक्स्ट पोटेंशियल हर्डल इन फूड प्रिजर्वेशन इज प्रिजर्वेटिव सो प्रिजर्वेटिव जनरली इनहिबिट्स बैक्टीरिया ईस्ट एंड मोल्स and some of the preservatives are used at low levels for uh, for specific applications for example benzoate uh, that is used in soft drinks then propionate that is used in baked goods and nitrites that is used in meats uh, sulfites in wine and ascorbates in juices so there are some recommended chemical preservatives that are like sulfur dioxide and sulfites nitrites and nitrates sorbates propionates and sodium benzoate next potential hurdle in food preservation is microorganisms there are some good bacteria that inhibits bad uh, or spoiler pathogens for example lactic acid bacteria now let us come to the significance of hurdle technology so hurdle technology improve product quality and microbial safety it saves money energy and several other resources and due to hurdle technology food remains stable and safe and high in sensory and nutritive value due to gen, uh, gentle process applied then uh, hurdle technology doesn't affect the integrity of food pieces and it is applicable in both large and small scale industries and manufacture of new product according to the need of processors and com- consumers is there so at last i want to add that a food product is microbiologically stable and safe because of the presence of a set of hurdles that is specific for the particular product in terms of the nature and strength of their effect so together these hurdles keep spoilage or pathogenic microorganisms under control and this leads uh, to the development of food that is stable and uh, that is superior in quality higher in quality and with fresh like characters so for the more this approach is not single targeted it is multi targeted and there is every possibility that different hurdles in food will have additive or synergistic effect and at last apart from the advantages hurdle technology has certain disadvantages like it is uh, very costly and high level of preservatives are required and high amount of antimicrobial additives are used So that's it that's all about hurdle technology thank you for watching and do visit our website www.foodtechnetwork.in